Welcome! This is the first in a series of two videos that answers the question, why does the moon look so big sometimes? Today we're going to answer the question using our knowledge of astronomy, answering what is a supermoon and when does the supermoon come out? Next time we'll look at the psychology of how we perceive big moons. So what is a supermoon? Like that frisbee in the park that gets bigger as it gets close to you, things in space that are closer to us look bigger. And during the supermoon, the moon is literally closer to us in the sky. This happens because the moon doesn't orbit around the Earth in a perfect circle like it's often presented. The moon's orbit around the Earth is actually an ellipse, which means that sometimes it's closer to the Earth, and sometimes it's further away. When the moon is closest to the Earth, it's said to be at its perigee. At its perigee, the moon will appear its largest in the sky. Because it's closest to the Earth, it looks bigger. When the perigee lines up with the full moon, this is called a supermoon, because it's the biggest the moon will look. Remember, the full moon takes place when the Earth is between the moon and the sun in the sky. If you're a little shaky on your moon phases, no worries. Check out my video on the phases of the moon for all the info. When the moon is farthest from the Earth, it is said to be at its apogee. At the apogee, the moon will appear its smallest in the sky. Because it's at the furthest point away from the Earth in its orbit, it looks the smallest. When the apogee lines up with the full moon, this is called a micromoon, because this is the smallest the moon will look. The distance between the moon and the Earth actually changes quite a bit. At its closest point, the perigee, the moon is about 350,000 kilometers from the Earth, while at the apogee, its farthest point, it's about 405,000 kilometers away. This means that the supermoon ends up looking about 15% larger and 30% brighter than the micromoon, definitely enough to be noticeable in the sky. Sometimes the perigee, or the moon's closest point, falls a couple of days before or after the full moon. That means that this particular supermoon will be slightly smaller than its maximum possible size. It also means that we often get two or even three supermoons in a row, because these moons are all close to, but not exactly on the perigee. Another reason supermoons look so big is because they often sit on the horizon when we see them. Remember that the full moon rises at sunset. Because it's a full moon, the supermoon is close to the horizon when most people actually see it. In the evening when they're awake, rather than in the middle of the night. This is going to be really important when we answer the question of why the moon looks so big sometimes, using psychology, exploring the phenomenon of the moon illusion, which is a little trick our brains play on us to make the moon look bigger. Check out the details in part 2 of this mini-series, and remember to like and subscribe if you learned something new. Until next time, I'm Mr. Harris, class dismissed.